What are we going to do for round table? Got an idea. Got an idea. What about a murder special? How are we going to make that work? Well, we could get a crime writer in. Are there any bands with murder in their name? Yep, yep, that's a good one. Yep, we've got like one of those. Is anyone, anyone else? Yeah, what about someone who's been in a very long-running and successful detective series on the telly? Please welcome our guest. Mark Billingham is here. Uh, James McGovern from the band Murder Capital and Lawrence Fox, who, as well as... I mean, I we'll come to the thing. You're filming something at the moment. Just finished. It's just finished. Do you, did you have to uh, change your appearance in any way to film it? I did. did I had you? to have really long hair and I'd changed my accent as well. I had to be a Mancunian. And did you stay like that out of character? No, oh, no. Not one of them. I was in the pub. <laughs> but it must be a bit strange, isn't it? You bump into a friend and they go, growing your hair then. Oh, well, it's really, it's more irritating just sleeping on it. You know, you've got extensions in your hair. It was a nightmare. Right. Really? It was a total nightmare. Wow. But it was fun. Uh, now, this is the thing. This is where I want to start today before we review the records before we get to that sports team record uh let's they, uh, i want to cut the, <coughs> excuse me your album because lawrence has got an album out it's out already isn't it? it is so the album uh is called a grief obsessed what observed my, a grief observed a grief observed sorry yeah. a grief observed one of my favorite tracks on the record right is called the mark of a king yeah and do you know why why it's because you use the word immutable i know i love doing that i put in kowtow in the, uh, another part of the record as well i like putting stupid words in songs well actually wonderful words in songs. i mentioned that here is because uh, i'm quite fond of uh, the lyrics of some of the sports team songs which have been released so far their album will follow next year uh, sports team the races do you want to start us off mark yeah that is certainly it. lawrence i really enjoyed it i got a sort of Blackadder meets um, Kings of Leon vibe, um, which I really liked. And, it, and again, you get the feeling that it's going to be something that you're going to really enjoy live. It's got a huge energy to it. I Definitely, really yeah. it. They do have a really good yeah. act. But. Is it similar when you're when you're when you've got an acting role that you do something relentlessly for a certain period of time, and then I suppose even more unpredictably for an actor, unless unless you've got another job which you know is lined up, you just right. That's done. It's a massive come down, actually. Yeah. yeah, you get a big come down. We were, I was filming in Spain all summer, and we all, it was, you know, it was kind of a crazy job about drugs and murder and gangsters and all of this. And you come home and you're doing the school run with the kids, and it's a bit yeah. of a shock. You know, the whole thing's a bit weird, but it takes a couple of weeks, and then you're back to normal. I find, yeah, yeah, you do, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, James, start us off. Uh, Grimes, you're a Grimes fan, or have a yeah, massive Grimes. Lawrence, what did you think? Oh, I actually really liked it. I th I th thought that kind of... There's a sort of Eastern trill to it, isn't there, that's going on, and I think it's like Gregorian chant. You have to repeat it and repeat it and repeat uh -huh. it. And I could feel the textures. I thought that it grew. I uh, And I liked the way it climbs up through the keys. I just thought that was... I, I really liked that. I could spend some time in a darkened room with that list listening to Another question. Here we go. <laughs> Songwriters. Writers all round. Uh... Uh, on the sleeve notes of the album, yeah. uh, because the album was, I think, was delayed, wasn't it? Probably by the there was a certain crowdfunding website, a certain crowdfunding which, website which, which stole everyone's money, which, yeah. which you know, yeah, it all went to everyone. And, and, and on the sleeve notes of the record, you talk about how some of the songs now, some of the lyrics now, were obviously written by a person which is a different person to the one you are now. Yeah. Well, it's weird, isn't it? Because it takes quite... Obviously, there was the delay of releasing the album, but it's also the fact that you're, you are a different person once you've gone through the process. So the first song on the album was four years old, and I don't feel like that anymore. Mm. I did sing it live the other day, and I got a lump in my throat, though. Right. I've, I've listened to a load of mixes and not felt yeah. anything. Yeah. So it is weird. It's quite... It's like giving birth to something in a funny way, isn't it? Yeah. Watching it grow up. Yeah. I mean, it's, is it... I suppose that's, it, that would make artist bands want to just get records out quicker, in a way to represent the snapshot of the time or do you, do you do you not get stuck with lyrics from different eras of your past uh it certainly felt that way i think for us with the first record yeah we wanted to um to go as fast as like our creativity could take yeah. and we did i think yeah. you yeah. know um but for the future i'm not sure yeah i don't i don't get too worried about like no. how quickly it comes or whatever no. it's more about how do we evolve from here and how yeah. do we change yeah. yeah uh lawrence start us off big moon not a huge fan. No. Um, I've, I, it was okay. I felt similar to how you felt. It was just okay. I've heard better pop songs. It feels like a pop song. If it just I'm, nothing. I, I tried to look at what I'd written about it and I hadn't written anything. Right. <laughs> I think because I wasn't listening properly. No. I've lost my. Sorry, guys. No. Uh, before the news, it's this from Pongo. 
Uh, Lawrence? My Portuguese is not brilliant. Um, or well, exist, I mean, mine's or non-existent. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> but I, I, I did quite like that mix of rhythms. I found myself sort of bobbing along at different in, in different time signatures. I enjoyed it. But again, I think you've got to dance to it and see how you feel when you're you're out and about. Okay. Should we do a rewind and just start? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. I've got some news. I want to see these if it, knees. If it, if it, I'll, t- I'll tell you. Oh, take this. It's the mysteries. Mysteries and who's your girl? <laughs> uh, Lawrence, what did you make of the mysteries? That worked for me. I like that. Um, I know that I will be howling that to myself as I walk around the streets on my way home this evening. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. It's, it's got a good vibe. What, what, so, uh, the new um, series you've been filming, how much can you tell us about it? Is it one of those programmes under wraps? It's, uh, well, I, I was actually doing some ADR for it yesterday and they were like, oh, Oh, it's so nice to see you in the press laws talking about the show. So I think they don't mind. It's a big Netflix um, thing. It's about people that go to Ibiza. Four of them go to Ibiza and then one of them goes missing and 20 years later they find him. And then you go and see the mashups 20 years after they've spent... They've spent a long time in Ibiza and I've turned into a Buddhist drug dealer. Right. You know, as you do. If okay. you spend enough that, time could, that could happen. It literally <laughs> does happen. I'm, having been to Pikes, I know exactly what. I based it on several people I kind of know. It's it's really fun. It's extremely violent and really funny, is which it? is weird. Okay. Yeah. Do you know when it's airing? Sometime June, next year? I think. End June. of May, June. Right. Okay. Next year. Um, so you've got a bit of time to carry on doing the music stuff. I'm going to go touring yeah. in February, yeah. Oh, OK. You're on tour in February. I'm in tour in February. Honestly, Leicester Forest Service Station. <laughs> See you there. 18th of <laughs> February. It's the final single of the week. Arlo Parks. And this is called So Week. Arlo Parks. And that's called Sophie. Uh, Lawrence, your turn to start. I really love that. Mm-hmm. I really love really it. I, th- I was guessing you might. It's one I of the reasons it's in the programme. I loved it. I thought it was it just... I love it when people don't put too much effort into singing sometimes. Do you know what I mean? It mm. really warms me. And she, she sort of slightly reminded me of a kind of slightly cooler Phoebe Bridges. Do you know what I mean? I really, <laughs> <laughs> I, it was odd. I just sort of loved it. Yeah. Uh, what else can I say? No, All, good. Every, every, bit, every part, everything seems so well put into the song. Yeah. Beautifully crafted. Loved it. Yeah. DJ Shadow featuring Sam Herring. Title track of the new Shadow album, Our Pathetic Age. Uh, Lawrence. I enjoyed it. Um, um, you know, bits of it. I found it a bit chaotic, so, I, you know, I kind of need to be held together by music in a way, and it just couldn't hold me together. I was like, what's going on? Yeah. It took me apart. Have yeah, you... That's what I meant. You can't be going, what's going on? Yeah. Well, there is, yeah. there is beautiful chaos as well, isn't it? So there like, is. Even, there really is. Even you? then, you got let down again. I, got, I thought it was good. I was really into it, and then I was out of it. And then I was into it again, and then I went, yeah. why do I have to think about this? I've got to stop. Uh, the Shadow Album, it's a new double album, uh, came out last Friday, if you do like it, Our Pathetic Age. Uh, so, uh, given that a lot of the songs on this record are, you know, quite old now, have you been writing all the all the way along the line? Have you got, like, literally another album ready to go, I even do. while you're promoting this one? I'm going into studio tomorrow to record no. the, beginning of the next one, yeah. <laughs> and it'll be another four years until that one comes out. <laughs> it's mad. So when you tour in February, it'll be a mixture of both, will it? It'll be a mixture of both, yeah, February. Um, and, yeah, that's it. I'll be doing a bit of time then, and then, obviously, just more promotion for the album. Yeah. Uh, Grief Observed is the title of the album. If I'm sure it's up on some of the streaming services. If you've only got time just to t- uh, taste as a taster, uh, second track called The Game, I'd recommend that. I had it on earlier, earlier today. And it's a beautiful album title, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, and it is, so many uh, people yeah. said don't call it that. No, it's quite well, I've got it. It's Grief what it's observed. about. Yeah, mm. yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, the, yeah the, the game. I had it on this morning and uh, Mrs. Doctor came in and said, uh, what's this? I like this. So it's passed that test. 